So here it is using animation with three images. I assume you can use more but that might take up more of the memory on the ramps. So you might have to watch out for that. See there's one image, two image, three image, one image, two image, three image. Changing between the images to make it look like it's animated. Obviously the fan there. As I say this only comes on if I get the fan turning at the moment. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this if the heat bed comes on. Notice that the heat bed is indicating that it is hot but it isn't. Actually let me try turning that heat bed down to zero if I can. Something of zero. Can I do that? I don't think I can. I think there's a no. That's the temperature. It is that now without freezing the heat bed? Actually, because that is the temperature of the room in a way. The ambient temperature, and it won't go any lower than that. As you see, I've got three images here, and I'll talk about setting up two images. Then I'll do the modification to change that to three images, okay? Right, I'm going to talk a little bit about status screens and an animated status screen. If you've done the status screen, it's quite easy to change that to an animated one. As you can see here, the fan is turning and the heat bed is indicating that there's heat coming up from it. Now, I haven't got the heat bed turned on. I just turned the fan on. Let me try and let me turn the fan off. I can remember. temperature I've got it set to 126 that's pulse width modulation it's not a percentage so 255 is maybe no full on let me turn up a zero let's see if that has changed see now the fan stopped now let me try and turn the bed temperature on Turn the bed temperature on. The nozzle I haven't animated that and the text I haven't animated that. I suppose you could do. Well it looks a bit like text. Let me turn the bed to quite high. I wouldn't normally have my bed on this but I just want to. Yes that's come on. I can hear it. It's come on there. And it's not animated. Well the heat. The heat rising from it isn't hand animated but then I wonder if it does it when it gets to temperature see it's indicating that the temperature is on because there's a gap there you might just see that in that line and you can see that the temperature is rising let me turn it down a bit so that we can observe that a bit quicker So when this gets to 45, be interested to see if that starts animating. I'll cut this out for a bit till it gets to 45. It's almost there now. When we well, it's on 45, and the line has gone solid to indicate it's at the temperature, and the the heat bed rising hasn't come on, it seems to only come on if I put the fan on. Let me put the fan back on. If I can tell. Fan speed. 
I've put on 24. Now the fan probably won't turn at 24, it normally needs about 30% just to get the turn. As the fan speed is turning and you can see that the heat rising from the bed is indicating that I would seem to only be doing two of the things I asked for. It's all to, it should move that bump thing there right over to the left and the fan should probably turn a bit more. Let me try turn it up. Temperature. Uh, let's speed up the fan, I mean, not the temperature. So about 128 is about 50%. See 50% there. Now it's still only doing two of the images. I've probably got the code wrong or something, got the number in the code. I'll show you the code on the computer just now. I'll let you watch this a few more seconds so you can see. Well, I do have three images. But I think only two are displaying here. Well, I've tried changing three images, definitely, and it's still only doing two images that's animating between the two images. Right, this is my underscore state of screen page opened up in Pilot Edit. Pilot Edit is very powerful. It can open very big files. And notice it changes the colors depending on types of code you've got. Now, this is the first image. I have ASCII code set. That's right. The second image should move this sort of heat thing to here and also turn the fan a bit. Actually, looking at that, that doesn't, yeah, it does turn the fan a bit, I think. And the third one should be this one that moves the heat wave to the further left and turns the fan a bit more. So the names of these sort of codes are state of screen zero BMP, state of screen one BMP, and state of screen two BMP. Remember, we're starting from zero, but you can you've seen the animation there. Now, if you want to know a bit more about doing this, you need three images, obviously slightly different from each other to do this and I'll talk about that in the other video about making images and such like for status screen. I'll put a link to that on this video and in this description. So if you want if you want the code converter there's a code converter there. Now here I am in Arduino, I'll just show that it is possible to check your screen. There we are. So you've got both screen there, and I've got underscore screen status. Click on that. I normally edit this in Pilot Edit. Let me move over a bit so I can see the ASCII. Make sure this is right. So that's that's the first image. This is the second image where the heat thing is. And the third image, yeah, that's right. There's a heat thing over to the left. And the fan has turned a bit more. Let me make sure I've got the numbers right. So we've got number... 
status underscore screen zero underscore BMP square brackets. So that's zero. We've got one. We know those two are working. And we've got two. I'm just like comparing one and two. So it's not doing this two. Let me have a look at these numbers at the top of here. Status screen width. So far as I know, this is the like where the text is positioned. I don't know what the E means. It might mean uh, the number of exclude, ex, sorry, exclude, ex, <laughs> extrude is you've got. Sorry about that. Tongue tied. And the bed text. There's only that's a position of that. So it doesn't seem to be any other numbers on there. Anyway, I'm going to leave it that. But for, for some reason, it's not changing. To the screen number two. So here it is using animation with three images. I assume you can use more, but that might take up more of the memory on the ramps so you might have to watch out for that see there's one image two image three image one image two image three image changing between the images to make it look like it's animated obviously the fan there as i say this only comes on if i get the fan turning at the moment i'm still trying to figure out how to do this if the heat bed comes on Notice that the heat bed is indicating that it is hot, but it isn't. Actually, let me try turning that heat bed down to zero if I can. Something of zero. Can I do that? I don't think I can. I think there's a... No, that's the temperature it is at now without freezing the heat bed, actually, because that is the temperature of the room in a way, the ambient temperature, and it won't go any lower than that. As you see, I've got three images here. Okay, I'll show you the changes I made to get more than... I'm using uh, more than two images. So I'll load it up in a Duino, might as well. And basically all I've done is do this change here. I've added this big code. Now it does say you can do it in configuration H, but don't, don't ask me about that. And I don't know if you really want to change configuration H, which might change every time you update Marlin sort of thing anyway. But see, it's got the number of frames there, three. Now, presumably you can, I haven't tested this, presumably you can do as many as you want. I have had somebody done four, I'll put a video about that on this video here. But that's the only change I've changed, well, made, <laughs> change I've changed. <laughs> Doesn't sound right, does it? Only change I've made is Done that now. Say it says fan anime animation. Obviously, I wonder if there's a heat bed animation frames or something. Well, obviously, you compile it when you made that change, and then you'll get the three in this case, three images. But as I say, presumably, you can do more, but you'll probably have to watch out for the memory on the ramps.